Hey, what's up folks? This is GK. So if you're planning to buy a laptop to practice DevOps, or if you're planning to buy a laptop to learn cloud, or you're confused, like how much you have to invest into a laptop, whether you have to buy an expensive laptop or a, a basic laptop. So I'm going to address all those questions in this video. So do watch till the end because I'm going to give you some important tips that might save some money for you. So first things first, if you are a new person who is planning to learn DevOps, so let's understand what do you have on your laptop or what do I have on my laptop? So first thing, uh, what I personally prefer is that I always would like to work on Linux shell. So on my laptop, I have, I have two laptops. One is Mac, uh, where I use the terminal directly. So I don't have to have any Linux subsystem, but on my windows, for people who are using windows, you can install Ubuntu on top of uh, windows using WSL. So you don't have to use any virtual box or any of that software to work on that. So that is one method where you can have a Ubuntu running on your windows or a CentOS machine or a CentOS virtual machine running on your windows. And then you can practice all your Linux commands or you can install the tools and then you can use like any other Linux environment. So that's one thing that I usually have on my Windows laptop. But if you're using Mac or if you're planning to buy a Mac, then you don't have to worry about this part. You don't have to install any Linux on top of your laptop. So in past when I used to teach DevOps, so what I had was a very basic Acer laptop, which had about, I think, 8 GB of RAM. And then there was no WSL support at that time. So I had to install VirtualBox and then CentOS Minimal, which is around 350 MB or something around that because VirtualBox from Oracle is free. Then I used to install two virtual machines and then, you know, show everything like Jenkins or I needed two because I wanted to show HA and all that other important DevOps stuff uh, that was back in 2000. 15, 13, and 14 around that time. But back then I covered only DevOps. I did not teach any uh, cloud stuff. Next most important tool that any DevOps engineer would have on their laptops, which I obviously have on my laptop is Visual Studio Code, which is an IDE. So if you're writing any Python code or if you're writing any Terraform scripts or any such automation that you're planning to write Ansible or you can connect from your IDE and then remotely work on the cloud environment. So so these things, you can easily do it using the Visual Studio Code and it's totally free and the marketplace is great. So that you have to have on your laptop and that doesn't consume a lot of resources. It consumes some basic resources. So you don't have to have a hi-fi laptop for this. And when you're running ID on your Mac or on Windows, you have to have Git and Python. So you can install Git on Windows or you can install Git on your Mac. So that is another important tool that obviously you'll have the client. And then if you're using Windows, you can also use Git Bash. So that's another important utility or tool that you have to use. And third tool, which I have on my laptop is Terraform. And it's a very lightweight uh, tool. You don't have to per se install and it doesn't consume a lot of resources. So, but if you have Mac, you can use Brew to install on Mac. And if you're using Linux, you can just download the binary and put it on your path, which I have covered in my video. And then you can practice all your Terraform stuff on your laptop using the Terraform CLI. And you can use the same installed one from your IDE and run all your Terraform scripts. So I already mentioned about Python. So you have to have Python installed on your laptop. If you're using Linux, uh, like Mac or Windows, you can install Python very easily. And then you can use Ansible to practice along with Python. If you're using Ansible on WSL Ubuntu, or if you're using Mac, you can use Ansible on top of the Mac machine, but these days I'm not doing much of much work with Ansible. Um, so that part you can ignore if you don't want to use Ansible. And some other things that I have is the SDK soft cloud, like for example, G cloud, which I already have on my laptop. If you're using AWS, you can install AWS CLI. And then if you're using any Azure stuff, you can use that Azure CLI and uh, you know work with the remote cloud services using the CLIs and the APIs. So that's another important uh, SDKs that I have on my laptop. So along with this, you'll also have some good to have softwares like OpenVPN or Slack or OBS if you want to record something on your laptop. Um, and then any Notepad++ or any other basic software like Zoom calls, Zoom utilities. So these are the things that are bare minimum and you will have on your laptop. But now let's say if you want to practice Kubernetes or Docker, uh, then you would have to install Minikube platform or any such stuff. But that might require some resources. So that will definitely consume some resources of your laptop. And that's where you might need a little high spec laptop. If you want to practice Kubernetes on your laptop, if you want to practice Kubernetes. So these are the things that you would need 
on your laptop as a devops engineer or if you are planning to learn devops from your laptop but for those who are already practicing or who are experienced devops engineers please let me know if i have missed anything or if you have anything on your laptop that i haven't covered that way it will be helpful for other people so long story short you definitely need a laptop and now the discussion is whether you have to buy a high spec laptop like spending lakhs or 1000 dollars or more or do you have to buy a bare minimum laptop like a basic laptop and then practice somewhere and that's what we're going to discuss now so like i've said in past i have used a very basic acer laptop and i've installed virtual box and then i have used lot of stuff and i have taught lot of stuff using that bare minimum laptop itself but one thing that i have done is that i bought a droplet so droplet is like a ec2 instance sort of a concept in the distillation provider so distillation is another provider for those who are not aware like aws gcp and they have a very basic cheaper droplets like now it is 4 dollars i guess because at that time i used to pay around 500 rupees or something around that like 8 dollars or something and then i i had two droplets so i used to spend about 500 rupees every month if i'm earning some from the training then obviously i would i thought it's a better investment because i don't have to do much in my laptop with, with virtual boxes i can just connect to the droplet and then practice from there and show all the demos of jenkins ansible or any of that sort of things from the distillation environment itself so that's what i have done long time back so it all comes down to capital versus expense discussion now let's say if you are a working professional and you have good salary and now you are planning to learn devops then if you are okay you can have some capital around 1 lakh rupees or 1000 dollars and then spend some decent amount and buy a laptop like buy a gaming laptop the reason why i was saying gaming laptop is because you would want to invest on something that is full proof for at least few years and gaming laptops generally have very good gpus and ram and cpus and that way you can not only practice all the things that i've said that's more than enough for that but also if you want to like let's say open a youtube channel or something then you can use this laptop to you know record and then do a lot of video editing and lot of that stuff and gpus are generally preferable these days because lot of softwares like if you want to do mining or anything machine learning uh, it's more gpu than your cpu or ram so that's like you are spending some capital and you are investing up front so the other suggestion that i highly recommend for students or for uh, people who do not want to spend up front like 1000 dollars or uh, lakhs of rupees up front and buy a laptop is that you can spend only some amount on your basic laptop like buy anything in the range of 500 dollars or 600 dollars and use that laptop like if let's say if you have your cousin take that laptop spend some money or use all the free credits that you get like let's say you go to distillation you get 100 dollar credits that will be enough and you can get 300 from gcp you can get some credits from aws so use those credits and then practice everything on cloud itself so that's a smarter way of doing or learning devops i strongly recommend that instead of buying a high spec laptop a lot of people who have been asking me like what is the laptop that you have to buy and i think this is a short answer for them because you are not only learning devops but you are also unknowingly learning lot of cloud stuff like whenever you spin up a vm whenever you are trying to create an iam stuff on the cloud or how you are connecting to the vm from your laptop and how you are installing tools on you know on those vms or if you are configuring kubernetes on top of vms or if you are using a managed service of kubernetes so you will learn lot of things um, how to spin up the instances using terraform so you can do much more than installing like mini cube on your laptop or installing practicing things on your laptop so buy a basic laptop so buy a basic laptop that will help you to connect to the cloud service providers and then you can also have wsl on top of your laptop if you, if you want to buy windows or if you want to buy a mac wait for the black friday deals or any such deals and then you can get it for around 700 dollars so that should be more than sufficient too i hope this helps you to make a smart decision on how to learn devops using your laptop let me know your thoughts in the comment section and do share it with your friends who are planning to buy a laptop so that you can save some of their money so please give a like if you like this video and do subscribe to my channel thanks again for watching this video take care bye